So starting off with a fresh face, of course, we're going to start off with filling in the brows because they just frame the face and just get everything right. You feel like you know what you're doing once you have brows. So we're going to go ahead and fill in our brows. I'm not going to be too detailed with my brows just because, you guys, it, it, it doesn't change. Same brow products, you know, same flick of the wrist, everything. So I'm going to speed this part up, but I'm obviously going to let you guys know what I'm using. So I'm going to start off with my... ABH Brow Wiz in a dark brown. Actually first I'm going to go ahead and just comb these hairs into place. That way everything just flows nicely together and our brow shape can really prosper. <laughs> and then of course I'm going to use the other side and just outline the natural shape of my brows. And then after outlining my brows, I'm going to go ahead and fill them in with the ABH Dip Brow in Chocolate and this, I believe it's the number 12 angled brush. It did get removed because I've been using this brush for quite some time, but of course it'll be down in the description bars just so you guys know what I'm using. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean them up with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. All right, so moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm gonna prime my eyes with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in tan 50. And then I'm just going to set that with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So for this eye look, I'm going to be using two palettes. And the first and main palette I'm going to be using for this look is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. These are all the shades. This is actually the first time. Actually, I lied. I tried doing a look with this palette one time for a review and because of my hair color it was like this orange gingerish color I just really hated it with the look so of course I deleted the video never posted it never edited it but we are back again with this palette finally I've been wanting to use this on my channel I'm also going to be doing a full face using Huda Beauty makeup tutorial because I have about like four other palettes from Huda Beauty and I have the foundation I have highlighters bronzers all that stuff that I want and a bunch of lip colors too and lashes so of course I'd want to do a full face using Huda Beauty products, but for this look, we're going to start off with Desert Sand. I'm going to apply that all over my lid and crease area for a nice nude base. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade Eden, and I'm going to apply that right on top of everywhere I just applied the first shade. Going in with this bright orange shade Blazing, I'm going to apply that all over my crease as well. And now I'm switching to more of a tapered, fluffier brush to apply the shade just so that it packs on nicely and I'm also able to blend it out nicely. I'm actually going to dip my brush into that shade one more time. And you guys can already see how much more pigmented it's getting, of course, depending on how pigmented you want the look to be. You can 
dip your brush into that shade as many times as you want. And I'm also still applying two more shades to the crease. So I don't want to go too ham because once you add those darker shades, sometimes when you add too much, it all turns into like one blob and you don't want that. You just want to make sure that the shades are nicely blended out. I'm going to take this shade Saffron, which as you guys can see is like this really nice cranberry hot pink shade and I'm going to apply that all over my crease as well. And as I'm blending out that shade, I'm gonna slightly drag it on to my lid. Then I'm just gonna take this number A10 brush from ABH and blend out those edges. For my lid, I'm gonna use the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics, don't mind the swatches on my hands. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called Sunset. As you guys can see, it's like a really nice, pretty, peachy pink. I guess we want to call it it's like a hot pink but it's not like super super hot it has a I feel like it has a little bit of a peachy undertone to it is that just me honestly I'm not the greatest at describing colors but I'm gonna use that shade on my lid and it's such a beautiful shade you guys like beautiful and I'm just gonna apply this with this flat eyeshadow brush it just have a little bit of fluff to it I'm gonna do some winged liner, so I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner in Black is Black. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Black is Black. And I'm gonna apply that, but first, before doing that, I'm gonna take a wet makeup wipe and just clean up my eyes. That way, I know exactly where my wing is going to be leveled. I'm gonna apply some mascara before applying my falsies. So I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Parade Waterproof Mascara in Blackest Black and just apply that to my little baby lashes. <laughs> the lashes I'm gonna use for this look, which I honestly feel like just complemented this look so well, are these lashes from Artie Beauty and these are called What the Fluff. They are really fluffy and wispy and they're just, they're just gorgeous. So I'm gonna apply these. Alright, so moving on to the face, I'm going to prime, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer, favorite primer, and I finally figured out how to open the top um, because it looks like there's a lot in there or some in there. When I squeeze it, it doesn't come out, but I finally got the top open, so we got a lot of product. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my face, and I'm just always making sure I apply a fair amount to my smile lines because I'm going to set them with setting powder you for my foundation lately I've been loving this combo mixing the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation in 370 and the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation in Cadiz I don't know I just really been loving this combination together on my skin the complexion the finish everything so I'm just gonna roll with it and I'm gonna mix these for my foundation today I'm going to highlight my face with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Tan 50. If you guys can tell, I've been loving this concealer and I've honestly been using it with pretty much every single makeup look that I've been doing. So.
I'm also gonna apply a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. So while I let that concealer just sit and warm up under my eyes, I do this for fuller coverage and I'm also prone to less creasing this way, I find. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut and use that to cream contour my face. I'm gonna blend out my contour with my ABH A30 brush and just buff that upwards into my cheekbones. <laughs> Thank God. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and set everywhere that I highlighted. I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in medium. And I'm going to take this Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in translucent. And I'm going to mix these. I love the formula of this powder. It is a little bit too neutral, like more on the pink neutral side for me. And then this one, of course, it's translucent. The Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder honestly just makes my skin feel like smooth velvet like it makes my skin really smooth and I've just been obsessed with it so that's where we're, we're that's what blah, blah, that's what we're gonna use today <laughs> I'm gonna set my cream contour with this shade Mocha from the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics palette. It's a really nice soft mocha brown. <laughs> So as you guys can see, I am looking a little bit dusty, not dusty in a bad way, just dusty in terms of you guys can see the powder and how, not white, but it's definitely not like golden, like my shade. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus Spray. This is going to help just soak in that makeup and all this product that we have on our face and trust me, it's going to work and yep, yeah, let's just spray. <laughs> and then we're gonna go into highlighting. And if you thought I was going in for my Fenty Beauty highlighter, <laughs> you are right. I just have been, well, I've loved this ever since I've purchased it, but lately this has just been, it's just it's just been my highlight. I've been loving it. I killed this highlight. It's just gorgeous. It looks amazing on my skin tone and it complements almost every look I do. So that's what I'm using today. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. This is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And I'm gonna use this to warm up my face. All right, so going back into the eyes, I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette again. I'm gonna use Desert Sand, which is that first shade that we use on our eye, and I'm gonna use that to set my brow bone. I'm 
For my under eye, I'm gonna take Blazing, which is that orange we used in our crease. And then I'm also gonna use the Sunset Shade from the It's My Ray Ray palette. Actually, I'm just gonna take that a little bit and add that to my crease, just to brighten it up a little bit. I feel like it kinda faded as I was doing my makeup. And then what's really gonna make this eye look pop is some inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take my MAC Melon Pigment. You guys know this is my favorite pigment. Like, it's just, it's just like super golden bronzy. It's perfect, and it's like, I don't know. I just love it. <laughs> I'm gonna use this tapered brush from my Vanity Planet brush set and spray that with some Fix Plus spray. And I love using this brush to apply inner corner highlight. It gets right in there. And I do have a discount code for this 36 piece brush set. I'll link it down below. You I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. I just feel like no look or, yeah, no look. I was gonna say almost all looks, but honestly, I feel like no look is complete without some mascara on the bottom lashes. Moving on to the lips, I'm gonna line my lips with my MAC Cork Liner. This is my favorite liner ever. Honestly, this is the only one that I really use on a regular basis. And then I'm gonna take this NYX Pin Up Pout Lipstick in Silk. It's a really, really bright nude pink. And then I'm gonna go over that with this Sigma Lip Vex Gloss in All Heart. You guys, this lip gloss is... It's popping. I kind of want to add a little bit of shimmer to the brow bone. I'm just going to take the same brush that I had the MAC Melon Pigment on. And lightly just tap that in the brow bone area. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, I was about to say this is a finished look. We're going to go in with the Pixie Glow Mist. And spray this face and refresh this face and just lock in all this, all this cake. <laughs> Whew. We're just gonna wait for that to dry. Just going like this. <laughs> so guys, this is pretty much the finished look. I know I'm pretty late on this pink and orange sunset look. I'm so glad that I finally did it because it's just gorgeous. I already know I'm gonna be doing this look a lot more often for when I'm going out or just for whatever. I'm gonna be doing this look a lot more often. Definitely one of my favorite looks. It's very simple, but still very like sexy and sultry, smoky, fruity. I can go on, but yeah. So I'm gonna go do my hair, change my clothes. Then I'm gonna get into my slow-mos so that you guys can see the actual finished look. <laughs>